All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got some pretty epic plans for this weekend. We are on our way to our first campsite, which hopefully the gate is open. I know they close it because of spring runoff and stuff, so we'll see. And if the gate is open, it's gonna be awesome because we're gonna take a four by four road all the way down to the river, and we'll actually be able to camp and sleep next to the river, um, get, allowing us just much better access, and we will do a lot more exploring. I'm um, down there, but if it's closed, we'll hike in one of the days. I, I believe it's about it's about a three mile hike to um, to the to the river from where we're gonna park. So we'll see. Sorry, we just got on the dirt road, but we'll see what happens. Um, if it is closed Sunday, what we'll end up doing is we're actually gonna go to a small creek that is in this area that we're headed to currently. So uh, we'll fish that Sunday. So I'm really praying that the gate is open though, because it'll be sweet. I am hoping that it doesn't get too steep and too rocky for this, this pickup truck to make it. We're just, we're running on a, on a stock truck. So, you know, as much as a stock truck can do, I know it's better than most, but we'll see. So stay tuned. We got an epic weekend planned. We're hopefully gonna get into some big fish tomorrow and then you know, like I said, Sunday, potentially small creek, potentially staying on the same river that we fish tomorrow. So, yeah, we're going to do it, baby. All right, guys, so we're going to continue driving here, but I thought I'd just show you real quick. That right there is going to be the small creek that we're going to be doing a little adventuring on. And so also let the dogs out to let them take a little potty break real quick. So, potentially Sunday, we will see this creek again. Um, better condition than I thought. The water is actually not stained at all. So, we're pretty, we're pretty happy about that. So, hopefully here soon, um, we will see the gate that we're praying to the good Lord is open. But, we will see. Well, folks, as we thought, the gate is closed. That is a big time bummer. It's all right. We will figure it out. All right, so just as you guys saw, the gate was closed, which is a big time bummer. So to uh, take some of that stress off because the gate was closed, we're gonna throw a line in real quick. See what we can wrangle up. Doing a little recon for Sunday. Sunday fun day out here. So yeah, we're gonna fish until it gets dark. Go to bed, wake up, do it again. So let's see what we can do, baby. Oh, it's a brook. It's a brook, baby. Yes, we finally found a stream with some brooks in it. First fish is a brook. Hazel, settle down, girl. Yes, sir. I knew there'd be a fish lingering in there. Yes, that is my second little brook right there. Let him go on the hopper dropper. Later, buddy. Oh, even smaller. Mister. Mister. Oh, this one's a rainbow. Look at that thing. Isn't that sweet? There's another little brook. See if we can get him in the sun. Oh, beautiful fish. Stunning. Little slingshot action. There it is right there. There's a bigger one. 
Don't come off of there, buddy. Oh, this is a purebred rainbow. Come here. Missed the weight. Yes, sir. No! Gosh dang it! Alright guys, so welcome to camp. This is where we will be passing out tonight. Um, again, we got some actually Mexican black bean chicken stew on. It was leftovers. So we brought that with us. We'll go ahead and cook up. and We'll be having that tonight for dinner. And uh, yeah. We had a little action on the creek earlier, which was fun, and then um, we just decided to call it to come, kind of come up here and set up camp because there was quite a few people coming up. So we're all we're all set up. We got a little fire action going. I'll show you guys that. So it's just recently rained, so I'm not too concerned about it. So we're just gonna have just a little guy tonight because uh, why not? So that's what we're dealing with. And then that is our setup there. It's a little unorganized right now, but we'll get there. We're, we're just kind of getting ready to settle in. I'm gonna get some food and then, uh, yeah, tomorrow starts the hike and we'll have a great adventure tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> packed up and ready to rock and roll there's a truck over there we've already started this hike so just an update we got about two and a half miles probably to the first view of the river and then I probably have about three miles to where I wanted to start fishing um, today what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hike down river we're gonna leave our pack like right at the first point of water and then um, we're gonna hike down river probably about a mile and a half, maybe two miles. And then we're gonna work all that water that we pass up on our way back and then we'll hike out. So it's sweet. I already actually ran into somebody. I was not expecting there to be other people besides hikers out here. Um, but this guy said he's familiar with this area and he said that uh, the hike out is brutal. So he said, save some energy. So we'll see. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> so we're gonna do it. We'll catch you guys next to the water and uh, we'll show you the setup for today. We we're, we already got some pretty good ideas. Um, there's another section of this river that I'm familiar with and I fished actually on Tuesday. So um, we're gonna do it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there she is way down there and that sweet rock over there awesome we are way out here just doing it we see the river now probably got another 30 minutes before we get there i think i'm here in the river i think we're here in the river oh snap the river right there let's go baby we are here we're alive and well, we made it. This is sweet. I don't think the water is discolored at all, which is a good sign because I thought it was going to be discolored. Look at this wild girl. She couldn't, she couldn't help herself. She's swimming and drinking. Hey, no drinking and swimming. You choke. Look at Misty. He's thirsty. All right. We're here. Kind of creepy. There's two brand new pairs of shoes sitting right there. I don't know what's up with that. Look at Misty getting himself a little sippy dude. Getting yourself a little sip rooney there, dude.
There we go, baby. Oh, ho, ho, he's a jumper and he's off. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Mister, that guy came like three feet out of the water, son. On the pheasant tail. Okay. Nice little brown. Cool colors. Let him go. Here we go. Easy, buddy. It's a brown. Nice looking brown. Took the worm. Oh, yeah. This is live action right here, ladies and gents. Mister, watch yourself. Mister! Yes, sir. It's a good fish. We'll take that all day. Let him go. There it goes. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here now. Yes, sir. It's cool looking fish right there. Take it. another beautiful brown there it's about this size in here i guess there it goes bacon oh we're into a bacon here we go ladies and gents this is what we came out here for oh it's a bacon Please stay pinned there, buddy. Please stay pinned for me. Oh, it's a carve. Or a sucker, excuse me. You guys, check out the size of this thing. That's a healthy one there. Oh, it's kissing you. Oh, it's kissing you, mister. Here we go. This fish has got some size to it for sure. Come here, buddy. Yes, sir. Nice brown. Nice brown. It's a nice fish. Sir. Yes, sir. This guy went for the pheasant tail. This is probably the biggest fish we caught today. Check out that guy. That's awesome. It's probably about a 12er. 
Let him go. Yes, sir. I didn't think there was big enough room for both of those guys in there. Check out this one, guys. It's a nice fish. Oh, my goodness. Harold. That's a bunch of donkey shit right there, dude. How? How, mister? How's that even possible, dude? Alright y'all, so that's going to call it for this area, say last goodbyes there to the old river, and uh, yeah sweet, I mean we caught the crap out of them, um, I didn't do as much research because some of the water that I thought was going to be fishable <coughs> wasn't quite as fish friendly, so um, it sucked, I want to go that way next time. Um, like I said, I talked to that guy in the parking lot and he said he's done it a couple times and so he said on yonder 
over that way is a little bit better, but it's further, so you have to hike a lot further, which is fine. So, yeah, and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Probably not doing the small creek tomorrow. I think I'm gonna drive to a different area where I can access the same river, because, man, don't get me wrong, small creek fishing's fun, but catching these little 10 to 12, I think a couple of them were in the 15 range. They're fun, man. So I'm gonna go drive. Once I get back to the truck, I'll probably take a like an hour drive back down and um, fish this other area. So yeah, stay tuned. We will see you guys at the truck. Look at the little girl. She makes it look so easy. Mr. Burnt, I'm burnt. We still got a long ways, baby. See that ridge over there? Yeah, we gotta go to the top of that. Or we're kinda going out and around. I would go straight through, but I just don't think the incline versus the distance is gonna change anything. So, we're doing it. I'd say potentially halfway. It's brutal. It's brutal, I'll be honest, people. Yeah, so we made it to camp number two. A little bit different of a setting here. We actually have trees, which is nice. We might have a fire. I don't know. Hound dogs are exhausted. Hazel. Mister's getting them a little, a little crunchy. But yeah, we got dinner on the stove. We're just doing chicken noodle soup. I'm I'm kind of lame when it comes to dinners for uh, uh camping because i'd rather spend my time out there on the water so it's about seven o'clock sun's already going down you can see it off in the distance there probably gonna call it an early night let's be honest it is uh we're wiped we're so like like i said tomorrow we're not doing the small creek we're going up um to an area that i've actually done before um to hike and fish and it should be pretty sweet. We're gonna try going further than we have before. Um, the hike should be about the same distance that we had today. However, we're not losing a thousand feet in elevation and having to gain that back. So I don't think it's gonna be as brutal tomorrow, which I'm kind of looking forward to because that hike beat us up. So we're gonna eat some dinner, probably uh, pass out. So we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning guys. We had a very exhausted morning, so you guys didn't want to see any of that. So we're already on the trail. We're headed in. Should be about an hour. I know this trail is pretty easy, so it's a slow cruise, but we'll be there soon. So today we're looking for a big fish. Yesterday, unfortunately, we did not get into a big fish, which is fine because we did catch a bunch of fish. So I'm going to stop saying fish. We're going to hike on and... Uh, Probably catch you guys on the water. Both hound dogs just walked right over top of this sucker. Look at the size of that snake. It's just a gardener snake. Don't do nothing. Oh yeah. Here he goes. Yeah, so just a little update while we're uh, hiking in here. We did find a spot to find service to check, to check the USGS um, dam reports because we were probably four or five miles below a dam and so that's important because if they do turn it on um, the the water will be very discolored which would be a bummer because I don't think the fishing would be as hot but it's still sitting around 67 so we're in good luck because that's what it was at lower in the section that we fished yesterday and those fish were just turned on they were actually hanging out in the shallows probably about maybe a foot of water so i'm familiar enough with this area where i think we can find a lot of like water that we were fishing yesterday and probably catch them because yeah the only downside is we lost more flies than we wanted yesterday so we're kind of limited on what um popular flies are actually working this time of year but we'll see because 
I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure I can figure them out on something else. So we will just have to see. All right, guys. So same all, same all. Um, we can't resist. We got to get the flies wet. But uh, real quick, this is what we were throwing yesterday, and it's going to be today too. We got this little flashback pheasant tail with a bead head. And of course, the pink squirmy, always. I just use it because you know, it's a great attractor and uh, it catches a lot of my fish. As soon as these stone flies and stuff get going bigger, I will probably start throwing those, but I do not have my hands on small ones. So, we gotta see what's going on in here real quick. So I just have a feeling that there is a good possibility there's gonna be some fish. So we're gonna check it out. See if we get a brown trout out of this little corner right here. Almost got ourselves a snag is what we got. Oh, yes sir. Yes, sir. This guy on the pheasant tail. Kind of called it that it was going to be a brown. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Check out that guy. Nice fish right there, boy. Let him go. He is on his way. So yeah guys we're gonna turn around uh, just not quite what i expected to be back here it's real big boulders deep pools uh, we fished one checked it out didn't catch anything and i want to keep going but i remembered i checked the weather and there's supposed to be a thunderstorm rolling in around one which the clouds are already kind of here so we did bring our rain gear but it's back at the backpack which is uh quite a ways away so we're gonna turn around and go fish the water that we know has fish in it and uh, save this for a later date because I think this is definitely gonna be a little backpack adventure going in here because it looks like it mellows out later down the road. So we'll check that out on a later time when we actually got more time. All right, ladies and gents, we're back at it. We actually didn't go as far as I thought we did, which is nice. Mister, if you'd please not walk in front of me there, son. Oh, it's a wee little fella. Oh, mister, watch your head, dude. See, they're going after that pheasant tail, but I think they're not hitting it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because uh, it's all jacked up. There we go, a little rainbow. That's not too common in here. This guy's a native. On the pheasant tail, huh? Okay. Okay, mister, take a look. All right, he's gone. Harry, no. Look at Mister. Nice little brown.
That's a nice fish, y'all. Really nice fish. Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. So yeah, we made it down and we're on our way back. I uh, had a good time. It was a little more busy than I thought. I did not expect people to be back here, but there were actually quite a few people that backpack and stayed and I did see fly rods in all their hands. So it's kind of a bummer. I think uh, the fishing wasn't quite what I thought it was gonna be just based off the fact that I think other people were beating it up yesterday. And so, you know, kind of a remote location like this once people get their hands on, you know, a couple of those fish, they get all spooked. So it was a little bit of a bummer, but it's all right. We still caught them. So definitely went the furthest we ever went into this area. And so we're definitely coming back with a backpack in the tent because I think if we went further than we did today, I think we'd actually catch some nice fish. So didn't land a big fish like I wanted. That's all right. We'll take it. But we did catch him. Dogs are both burnt. Harry can't even walk straight right now. Look at him. <laughs> Between both days and the rest of this hike, I would say we're probably about, I don't know, 12 miles, 12 to 13 miles on foot, which is pretty epic. Haven't done that in a while, so we're feeling it. The dogs are feeling it. Well, I don't think the dogs have ever really been on something like this. But it was awesome. A little truck bed camper is coming in clutch. We're able to just kind of pick up, move, and go to a different spot. So it's awesome. Unfortunately, we have to go back to work tomorrow, which is a bummer. But we're just stoked to be out here for the weekend and um, probably do it again next weekend. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.